um, is put that yeah. okay, inside here. Okay. Now your fingers can stretch just like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'd like you just to shake it vertically up and down. Yeah. So just, for the, just, just to start with, just see what you can see, analyse it, and tell me what you can see. Okay, what have we got? We can touch them? Absolutely. It's fine. Is, is it the same wire that's inside? Right, that might be a question you want to know an answer yeah. to. Why might that be important? Maybe different. I don't know. It might make a difference to yeah. the results that you can see. Yep. Is that a light? Yes. Okay, so you've got a light on it? Yeah. Um, well, you know, like in science, when we do the it lights up the light when it goes around. When you've got a circuit. Yeah. Okay, so we might have something like that. Right, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to put this inside the cheek. I'm going to cover the ends and shake it. Before you do that, what do you need to make the light work? Electricity. Fantastic, you do. You need to make electricity. Do you see any source of electricity there? You can pick it up and have a play. Have a nose. So any wire. Right, wire. So often yeah. when we talk about circuits and electricity, you've got wire. You've got lights. Yep. Yeah. What's missing that you would normally have in a circuit? So if you a battery. So in a normal circuit, if you do a very basic circuit, you have your battery pack, which is the power supply, your wires, and a bulb. When you connect it all up, what happens to the bulb? It lights up. It lights up. So the missing element in this is the battery. The battery. Yes, and that's going to be the battery. Ah, but if I tell you, sorry, if I tell you that that's actually a magnet, yes. Just a magnet, and I've shown you what to do. Yeah, you shake it up and down very fast. And let's just see what happens. Let's switch these lights on. So we're going to put, we've got a magnet. We're going to put it inside here and see what happens. So can you fit your, fit your fingers there? Okay. So yeah. keep going. Make it. So what can you obviously see? Like yeah. Okay, so at some point you've almost got a complete circuit, haven't you, to create a light, to create the light source. Right, do you want to go, Josh? Yeah. Before you do that, is there any obvious simple difference between that one and that one? That the black, yeah. yeah. That's the black is an obvious difference, yeah. And just one other small obvious difference. Um, there's a pink. Yeah, thank you. That's another one. Yes. What's the point after that? a pink thing. But if you read the pink thing, that should tell you what the obvious difference is between the two. If you just feel them both. It's 40, 40, 400 turns. 400 turns. And what do you, if you just look at the two, does that one look slightly different from that one? So now I look at it. Think about what's. Yes, that one's like, like um, this one's thick. Yeah, it looks like it's got more wires. Okay. So that one's thicker than that one. What do you think might be the outcome if you do the same thing? That one won't be as bright as that one. That one won't be. Fantastic. That's okay. Have a go. <laughs> 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 now, so. How much effort you have put in? <laughs> that was fantastic. And so, what was your, What did you predict? Um, that that one would either not come on or would be like. Um, yeah. And what did you yeah. find? It was not hard. <laughs> <laughs> That's absolutely awesome. And what you've just done there is actually a, a very similar thing to the person who first discovered the relationship between a magnet and magnetic field, because you saw the field then, yes? And the creation of? Electricity. Super, super. Cool. And that is uh, Sir Michael Faraday. Really interesting character, actually, to go and do a little bit of research and homework and read around is, is Sir Michael Faraday. Very, very incredible. He was one of, you know, have you heard of Einstein? Yeah, yes. Einstein very famously had on his wall a number three pictures of scientists that he felt were the most famous scientists in the world, which is funny coming from Einstein. But one of the pictures was Faraday, because without Sir Michael Faraday, he would not really have had a lot of this. In fact, that little device there is very similar to something you have in your phone. Have you got a mobile phone? Have you yeah. seen sometimes they buzz? Yeah. yeah, that little device there is very similar to the thing that makes it buzz. That's great.